Joining me now, Monica Crowley, former Treasury Department Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs. Uh, Monica, great to see you. This could be the classic under promise, over deliver, maybe, uh, where if it's not horrible, hey, it's not garbage, let's celebrate. <laughs> Hi, Dave, and hey. great to be with you. Yeah, this is what's known as preemptive spin. So the White House probably has a pretty good idea that the January jobs number coming out on Friday is not going to be very good. In fact, there's some speculation that, in fact, we could see job losses rather than jobs recovered. And keep in mind, throughout this whole period, we have not been talking about jobs being created in this economy. We've been talking about jobs being recovered uh, from the pandem pandemic shutdowns. So it's possible that they have an inkling that we're going to actually see job losses in the month of January, and they're trying desperately to try to get in front of it. Well, the, the White House, they seem to be, and the Democrats, too, kind of the talking heads that you'll hear who come on and just regurgitate talking points, uh, they act like they're not getting enough credit for this awesome economy. Ron Klain, the White House chief of staff, tweeted this after the recent economic numbers, the strongest economic growth in 38 years, lots of periods, and he retweets people over and over again. Well, the American people think that the economy is craptastic. So you know, inflation's running at almost 40 year high. People's real wages, inflation adjusted wages, fell last year roughly two and a half percent. So stop, they're in this bubble of where they think that if they tweet and retweet Elizabeth Warren and other left wingers, that the American people would just wake up to the Biden administration's awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, Dagan, on their part. Uh, look, they think that if they continue to put out mistruths or try to stretch the truth about the economy, that their fellow travelers in the mainstream press will just amplify the lie, which, you know, is a pretty good assumption. Most of the time they do do that. But to your point, the American people are living this economy on the ground every day. And what they really feel, what they sense, is that the economy is not strengthening, it's weakening, skyrocketing inflation on everything from groceries to their gas bill to their fuel costs and so on, to uh, a labor crunch and uh, the supply chain crisis, which is uh, generating bare right. shelves. Well, so they see with their own eyes what's going on here, and no spin from the White House is going to change that. Well, it's anathema to the left and to Democrats to do nothing. And the Wall Street Journal editorial page wrote an, um, a piece about that very thing, that the economy would be in much better shape if the Democrats had just done nothing. Uh, the money that went out in the, the early spending package in the beginning of Biden's term, it exacerbated supply chain problems that might have happened anyway, but made them so much worse because it spiked demand. But also just the way that they have handled uh, Omicron, their draconian measures. You still have these, quar the, these quarantine rules or suggestions coming out of the government that need to be shorter. You still have unboostered people should quarantine out after exposure uh, for five days. So that has made the job market or the job situation worse right now. Yeah, exactly right. So you have a couple of things going on that could give us a bad number on Friday for January. One is, as you point out, these vaccine mandates are, are still rampant, particularly in the blue states, which are really lagging behind the red states in terms of driving whatever economic recovery we have. And the other point is that there is so much government assistance. There's so much fiscal stimulus on top of the monetary stimulus over the last two years that there's so mm -hmm. much money sloshing around the system that it's more lucrative for people to gather government benefits and stay at home or do a gig work and nothing wrong with that. But if they make it more, if they incentivize it more for people to stay at home than actually go to productive work, they're going to do that. People are economically rational. You so see. now the chickens are coming home to roost on this economy, Dagan, and it's not a pretty picture. The Biden administration could do something like cut spending if they really were, were worried about inflation. But instead, you watch him. He's going to stand up there over and over again and start blaming more Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve for the inflation and then try to continue spending on his own, yep. which also makes inflation worse. And inflation makes everybody mad. Monica, good to see you.
Thank you so much for being here. You too. Thanks, Monica Stegen. Crowley.